Future female robots will be able to celebrate Mother's Day and give birth to their own robot offspring. Do you consider that to be unlikely? Watch what we have in store for you when you hear it. It is ludicrous to think that a mechanical robot might give birth to a child, but many of the modern technologies we employ at one time or another were considered absurd ideas. Let's examine what lies ahead in terms of robot development and becoming capable of incredibly sophisticated biological procedures like giving birth. With AI evolves as we delve into the exciting realms of artificial intelligence and robotics. So tune in until the very end. For many years, Japan has been at the forefront of robotics research and development and has made major strides in the industry. Among the noteworthy developments are robots that resemble humans in terms of movement and behavior, such as RoboV from Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International ATR, SoftBank Robotics Pepper, and Asimo from Honda. Robotic medical assistants that can detect ailments, assist with surgery, and aid in recovery. The Da Vinci surgical system and the HAL exoskeleton are two examples. Industrial robots, with manufacturers and producers including Fanuc, yes, Kava Electric, and Kawasaki Heavy Industries are at the forefront of the market. Service robots. Japan has also created robots for service and amusement, including Ebo, a robotic dog companion, and Paro, a therapy robot made to calm elderly patients. Roboticists in Japan have in the past built little machines that resemble young children, such as the Efeto robot manufactured by Osaka University. Instead, then being toys or entertainment options, these robots are meant to be research tools used to examine social development and human-to-robot interaction. These are just a few instances of the robotics developments made in Japan. To develop robots that can help with activities that are challenging or dangerous for people, the nation continues to engage in research and development in the area. The world's most technologically advanced humanoids, both in terms of their hardware and software capabilities, are those made in Japan. Japan has a lengthy history of creating humanoid robots, and many of the most well-known humanoids have originated there. A few instances of cutting-edge Japanese humanoid robots are as follows. One of the most well-known humanoid robots in the world is Asimo, created by Honda. It is four feet tall and has the ability to run, leap, walk, and even dance. Pepper. Developed by SoftBank Robotics, Pepper is a robot that can socially engage with people. It can converse with individuals and recognize their faces and emotions. Robohan is a little humanoid robot that may serve as a smartphone. It was created by Sharp and Tomotaka Takahashi. It has the ability to phone, text, and even snap images. These robots can do a variety of things, including walking and conversing and being elderly people's companions. They are made to emulate human behavior. Although these robots are sophisticated, it is important to remember that they still cannot fully mimic human behavior or intelligence. Therefore, scientists and robotic engineers are working around the clock to make these robots more human-like and to give them advanced biological experiences, like getting pregnant and giving birth. As a result, it's almost time for the biorobotics revolution. The adjective biot, which stands for biological robot, is clever. The divide between biology and robotics is being bridged by a number of new disciplines. Only a few examples include synthetic biology, cybernetics, bionics, and biomimicry. In the future, human tissue, stem cells, and even synthetic blood cells will be produced using 3D printers. Other 3D printing tools can manufacture bone, cartilage, muscle, teeth, organs, blood arteries, and even ears. Do you still think that this is improbable? Science has repeatedly shown that our capacity for perception and comprehension is extremely restricted, and that very little is truly unachievable. An idea may take decades to develop and fully implement, but it is never impossible. For a very long time, science has been working tirelessly to incorporate biological reactions and human behavior into AI-powered robots. And as a result of their efforts, many amazing and admirable advancements including cloning and artificial warm technology have been made. Cloning research gained popularity in 1996 with the cloning of the sheep Dolly. Since then, hundreds of different species have been cloned, including camels, dogs, horses, deer, monkeys, cows, frogs, rabbits, and many more. Since it allows for the creation of a genetically identical copy of any individual, Human cloning has long been seen as a logical extension of animal research. Natural clones and manufactured clones, which resemble identical twins in humans and other mammals, are two different things. The three types of artificial cloning are gene cloning, reproductive cloning, and therapeutic cloning. It's crucial to remember that the technology is not yet sophisticated enough to consistently and safely clone people. In addition, 
Many nations like Japan have legislation and rules in place to stop human cloning. Having said that, it's important to remember how artificial womb technology came to be. The first artificial womb was created by Emmanuel Greenberg more than 60 years ago in 1955. In the middle of the 1990s, Japanese researchers were successful in raising goat calves for weeks in a machine with synthetic amniotic fluid. Thanks to recent developments in neonatal intensive care, the lowest age at which humans' embryos can survive has been lowered to less than 22 weeks. A typical 40 week is just about halfway complete at this point. The technology isn't at all as futuristic as it seems. With this brief overview of some recent advancements, the idea of a robot giving birth to a child, whether a child who is human or a child who is robot, does not seem outlandish. Robots producing more robots is getting close to the same stage where controlling the weather, gravity, and time have long been theoretical sciences that have advanced from science fiction to science reality. One such initiative is carried out by the Miami-based medical simulation business, GoMart Scientific which created a robot dubbed Victoria that simulates delivery and is employed in medical education. Victoria is a high-fidelity simulator that can replicate various delivery scenarios, including typical deliveries, complex deliveries, and emergency situations, according to the company's website. The simulator is made to give medical professionals realistic training experiences that will improve their skills and get them ready for real-world situations. While Victoria can mimic the labor and delivery process, she lacks autonomy and the capacity to take independent action. She is actually a medical simulation tool that is managed and directed by human instructors. Then there are Xenobots, the first self-healing and self-replicating biological robots created by AI. John von Neumann, an American mathematician of Hungarian descent first presented the concept of an autonomous robot that could use raw materials to recreate itself in 1948. Today, Newman's dream has come true, but with a significant change. The self-replicating robot isn't constructed of metal, plastic, spur gears, or sprockets. The xenorobot lineage, which consists of the parent robot and its offspring, is totally biological. An AI program running on UEM's supercomputer conceived the self-replicating xenobot in the first place. The AI used an evolutionary method that could simulate billions of different biological body types. The objective was to identify the cell arrangement that can self-replicate. An arrangement of cells in the form of the 1980s arcade game Pac-Man was the AI's winning design. Using surgical forceps and microcautery electrodes, biologist Douglas Blackenston hand-sculpted these xenobots, which are made of groups of 4,000 to 5,000 frog cells sewing in a laboratory dish using the AI's design. The parent xenobots can create offspring within their Pac-Man-shaped mouths thanks to the random frog cells that have been put to the dish. These xenobabies develop into xenobot parents. Self-replication is sustained generation after generation by the addition of more frog cells. The programming that directs cell clusters to develop in a specific manner is the process of molding stem cells into a custom shape. This particular arrangement of frog cells instructs them to develop into a new self-replicating living form. Whatever you want to call it, this is essentially an AI creating artificial life forms that are outside the purview of natural selection. In light of everything that has already occurred, it should not come as a surprise. One of these AI-powered robots will soon get pregnant and give birth, just like other living things. Because of its aging population, Japan has a very solid motive to achieve this achievement before anyone else. So, desperate measures are tried to save the populace. Folks, that's all for today. We sincerely hope you found the information we provided regarding Japanese robots becoming capable of conception and the opportunities it will open up interesting. If so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel AI Evolves and like the video. To ensure you don't miss any future videos like this one, click the bell button. Until then, goodbye.